did you practice for this? Um, well, it's either 30 minutes or 60 minutes. <laughs> you, look like, you look like 24 today. Never tell you how intelligent Maria is. She's one of the most intelligent people I know. Oh, really? Yes, absolutely. Oh, I didn't know that. I thought I'm pretty dumb. <laughs> I'm pretty. Yeah, that's dumb. it. But anyways, guys, welcome to Maria and Joe Live TV. We do this, Maria and Joe Live TV, once... In the blue every, moon. Yes. <laughs> in the blue moon. Because... <laughs> We're in Las Vegas right now, where our studio is, of course, where Maria lives. But I live in Santa Barbara County, about a seven-hour drive from Santa here. Santa Barbara? I thought you live in the ocean. Santa Barbara is in the ocean. <laughs> I said I Santa Barbara County, not Santa Barbara. Ocean. Count more, Pismo Beach area. I know. Yeah, so we'll be Pismo been, Beach. I've been in Santa. your area. Shh, we're not supposed to tell anybody. Oh, that's our secret? That's our secret. Oh, we don't have too many secrets. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, guys, this is... Um, well, Maria and Joe and Live TV has been the longest running show here at Social Media Shows. And um, we are so grateful to see each other once in a blue moon because if we stay together, you know what's going to happen. Yeah. Uh, we get to <laughs> other. Yes. So that's why, that's why it's better this way. You know, mm -hmm. I always love a long distance relationship. <laughs> so when we, the longer the better. <laughs> Having a business partner who is, uh, you know, further, as yeah. I always say, you know what, longest, re uh, you know, um, what do you call that, long distance relationship works so much it's better a, than me. I think it's better for even married couples. <laughs> because mm -hmm. time for arguing, therefore, when they do get together, it's just all lovey-dovey. Like, oh, right. and, and when it starts wearing down, time to go away for a week or two. Or yeah. month. <laughs> I, well, I, I tried a long distance relationship. Several times, and you know what happened, right? They always want to come over here, and you want to kick them get yeah. out now. <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> anyways, so I'm not here to talk about my relationship. Well, that's good, because that would take a long time. <laughs> <laughs> anyways, we are here to empower you guys. Empowerment, by the way, today, our empowerment news is we are going to be at the Plaza Hotel. That's the reason why Joe is here. He, he is one of our sponsors of the Days of the Dead event. Yes, in the office with Joseph Skoda. You ever hear that? It's one of my favorite. No, it's actually GI, GI Connection. Well, that too. Yeah, so <laughs> anyways, yeah, Maria and Joe, I know uh, we had a lot of fans out there. They yep. always ask us, when are you going to have Maria and Joe again? Well, when are you going to have Maria and Joe again? Absolutely. Because, because it's been, the, the you know, the very beginning I started my career in front of the camera. I know, I'm so pretty. What do you think, better in front of the camera or behind? <laughs> I look I look better with my back turned to the Can camera for right? sure. Oh Boom. yeah. Can you please uh, just uh, turn around? Just turn and around and show your back. So, yeah. so make you look good. Yeah. <laughs> you, but, first, you first. <laughs> but anyways, guys, uh, what is our empowerment um, quote today? Well, today empowerment. We're gonna go with the social media shows motto. How about we talk about branding? Opportunity, opportunity and, and outreach. outreach. You know when we started uh, social media shows. We talk about branding. Mm -hmm. So we created this brand and we stick in it. And then at the and at that time we opened the opportunity for those people who are shy camera shy. Sure. So my and they never shy. had any they never have any um, career in in front of the camera, mm -hmm. like uh, talking, like hosting. Sure. That's the opportunity that we gave to other people and also connecting. Connecting. Yeah, connecting. Course. Yeah, anybody who comes to our shows, like we have like uh, about five to ten people, guests on different shows every sure. week. And I, every time they come over here, they meet, meet other uh, guests and they start connecting. They, be, they, they started a big project. That, so that's it's, how we met. Yes, exactly. That's we what were we to. both doing different shows at a different uh, location in Vegas. Uh, sounds like forever ago. <laughs> yeah, it's forever. <laughs> and you're right. And you do, I was just interviewing. I was a guest on someone's show, and you had your own show, mm -hmm. and somehow we met we each other, yeah. and we connected. We connected. Yes, that's why we yeah. are actually bringing it to you guys, these uh, network social media shows, to connect to each other. We don't, uh, you know... um. I'm gonna talk uh, a little bit as H I T to about things. Not really, but oh. <laughs> I, listen. I uh, I've been paying twelve hundred for different chambers uh, way in back in the day, uh, and they they uh, it's you know the reason why you 
join Chamber of Commerce is to connect to other people. Sure. But you good. pay a membership fee to connect to other people. Yeah. My goal is to connect people without paying anything. Absolutely. You know, yeah. you can yeah. find yeah. resources by connecting. So that's 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 the reason why now uh, social media shows I call it a chamber. How's that? That's what we look <laughs> because at. Because conne it's connecting. So we connecting. That's the opportunity that we give to people. That's funny that you mentioned connecting because, you know, one of our sponsors is GI Connections. Yes. It's and they a, connect veterans with resources. It's very interesting because yes. there's so many veterans out here also when they get out of the military, they feel they don't have a voice. Maybe they lost their purpose, don't know where they stand in life anymore. And they need a little help, a little giddy up or in their step or something that gets them focused again on something out there. So... We're really big into outreach and doing things in the community and getting people involved. And if we can help you promote your product, your service, your own brand, please give us a call. That's yes. what we're all about. And one of my favorite, one of my favorite about our uh, model, our mission, is uh, outreach. Um, you know, we don't just support talents, businesses. We support nonprofit organization who are the main connector of all things because they help the community they help whatever is their uh, mission Absolutely. for that uh, for that nonprofit organization Absolutely. like for instance GI mm -hmm. connection Absolutely. you guys help veterans that's the focus main focus main and their focus. families and their families and their families yeah so so we help a uh, nonprofit organization we give them a platform they can come to my um, morning show rise and shine rise and once shine. a week because we promote them at that um at that show yep. it's out to us admin at socialmediashows.com god bless you fantastic thank you but anyways joe all right well we have a special guest today don't yeah, we yeah we're gonna go on a quick break all right we're gonna go on a quick break i just want to thank all our sponsor for the days days of the dead event and on top of that, this is how good our heart here at Social Media Shows because they actually sponsored our event. I just made them our so that I can extend my, you know, to help them, help all these these sponsors. I actually made them as a sponsor of Social Media Shows Network. So uh, check out this message. This show is brought to you by Michelle Kubiak with Berkshire Hathaway Home Services. If you're looking to buy or sell a home, call Michelle at 702-683-6576. Her license number is S-48606. This show is also brought to you by Hand and Stone Massage and Facial Spa, located on Silverado Ranch, here in Henderson, Nevada. Restore relax and refresh let's not forget our very own Meryl and Merrick comedy show this fun comical TV sitcom duo with social media source network loves to make you laugh Mahel Empire Productions it's a filmmaker based in Las Vegas Nevada founded by Michael and Sonny Mahal and are dedicated to making feature films turn your power on with Broken Ball Productions, owned by Russell Rapp, an independent filmmaker based out of New Jersey. This show is brought to you by, let's not forget, our very own GI Connections. It's a nonprofit organization that connects veterans with resources. We're also proud to recognize Polarific Arts with Sonia Scott. Painting is the expression of emotion and feeling deep within one's heart. Let's not forget Matoma Environmental Technologies, global research, development and manufacturing of innovative photocatalytic products. Our show was also brought to you by Carmelo Rodriguez, who is the author of a best-selling book called Smile. It's based on true events. It's the story of a couple building a family. Get your copy of his book at Amazon today. We also love our musicians. Think about Frank's Tribute, an all-star band. It's a Green Bay-based band with Let Me Be Frank's Productions, family owned by Frank Hermans, 
who happens to be a veteran entertainer. Have you ever dreamed of sharing your views and knowledge with the world? It should be easy, right? Just turn on your phone, talk into the camera, upload to your social media, then sit back and wait to go viral. Unfortunately, it's not that easy. Not only that you need a great message, you also need a video production as well as a quality sound and lighting. If that's not enough, you still need to make sure that video's description, title, and thumbnails are optimized by SEO and search algorithms. What a hustle! Don't worry, Social Media Shows is here to help. With our years of production online experience and professional studio, we can remove all the technical roadblocks out of your way so that you can focus on the message you want to share with the whole world. We have production plans that fit any budget. Visit Social Media Shows today at socialmediashows.com and schedule your free pilot audition today. Trying to buy a home these days is tough. We know. We hear it every day. Home inventory is at an all-time low. It's a seller's market, and cash buyers have the advantage. Recently, cash buyers made up more than a quarter of all home purchases. So, how do you compete with cash buyers and win? By becoming a cash buyer yourself. How do you do that? With New American Funding's Buyer Accepted Program. Here's how it works. Buyer Accepted LLC, an affiliated company of New American Funding, will buy your new home with cash and sell it back to you for the original purchase price, plus a service fee that can be added to the purchase price of the home once you secure mortgage financing with New American Funding. This turns you into a cash buyer and helps you win the bidding war. And the best part? You don't need to sell your current home first. Don't miss this opportunity to buy your dream home. Call New American Funding today or visit newamericanfunding.com to learn more about becoming a cash buyer and winning the bidding war. I can already feel you judging me and not for what I've done in the past, but for what I'm about to do. I had what mattered, and I, uh, I, got, I got careless. Like, I don't deserve more. I don't deserve sympathy. I, I don't deserve to be here. Where the hell are you? Why aren't you answering your phone? Jenna! What is the matter with you? Someone once told me, you may not be everybody's cup of tea, but you're somebody's shot of whiskey. Excuse me, ma'am. My, my car ran out of gas and I left my wallet at home. Could you please spare a couple dollars so I can refuel my vehicle? I literally have nothing. What's it gonna take? to get you to join a program. Get back, dog! If Jesus wanted you to have a dog, he would have blessed you with a bowl of leech now, wouldn't he? Welcome back, Maria. Are we back already live and in yes. the flesh? Yes. Is that really you? <laughs> Is that really you? <laughs> Anyways, welcome to the Maria and Joe Live TV. And we have a guest 
here on our studio, Hello. originally from Pennsylvania. Originally and from New Jersey. New Jersey, yeah. I, New Jersey. Yeah, Jersey. We call it Jersey. Yeah. Oh. Well, he is the owner of the Broken Ball production, mm -hmm. and he has a movie coming up, a feature film movie coming up soon. So let's actually welcome you, Russell Rob, to Hello. our show. All right, Russell. Welcome, welcome. All, All right, right, brother. How are you? How are you? I'm doing good. great. How about you? How's good, the drive? Good, good. From uh, New York. I flew in from uh, Newark, and the flight was like five hours. Uh, I got a little drunk on the flight. <laughs> Did you, you, so do you know the song, uh, uh, Get Drunk on the Plane, the song? You wrote that, right? Yes, I did. <laughs> of course. Oh, yeah, I heard that one. That was a good one. I love that. I, I jam on that song. <laughs> but anyways, yes, uh, Russell Rapp is here from New Jersey. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Not old Jersey? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no old Jersey. No, no old Jersey. <laughs> but anyways, well, oh, welcome to our show and welcome to Las Vegas. Is this your first time in Las Vegas? First time in Vegas, yeah. Wow. Run. Go. Don't go back. Run. This is almost about yes, Hollywood. Get out of here. <laughs> oh, well, uh, just letting you know, yes. um, it's the second uh, state uh, for movies now. Las Vegas? Yes. Delaware? Really? Yes. Did you oh. see the news? It's because, uh, remember, Mark Wahlberg is creating a Hollywood 201, something like that, Hollywood 201 here in Vegas. Wow, I didn't know that. That's yeah. Crazy. Oh, my gosh, yes. Yeah. Area 51 Productions. Yeah. Oh. yeah. I don't know. It's, no, this is, this is Hollywood, uh, uh, Hollywood 101 or... It's Mark Wahlberg, you know. The, okay. You know Mark Wahlberg, yeah, right? Yeah, I know Mark he, Wahlberg. He just, they just made Go way I was gonna, gonna, I was not gonna say this, but because I am not in the movie, they are creating a movie. They just actually filmed yesterday at uh, the Plaza Hotel, okay. and then last week is at Stratosphere. Wahlberg movie. I know a lot of uh, connected to me that wow. as it is gonna be in that movie. That's great. Yeah. That's so great. I'm as, I know I wasn't supposed to be saying that, but I'm saying it in Maria and Joe live TV. So what? <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, it's all about you. Do you want? Well, first of all, when I saw you come in, I got confused, like, cause you had a hat on similar to mine. Mm -hmm. And I, I like to be all in with the fedora hat. I always feel special. But yeah, you came in. It makes me feel I, special. It makes me feel like, all right, are you kidding? Tie off so I, I don't look as good as you. But, <laughs> but it's my thing. I like to wear these hats. So do you wear a fedora on a regular basis? I don't. You no, don't? No, just for special occasions like this. This is a special occasion? Oh, it is a special occasion. Special occasion. Well, fantastic. Yeah. But do you always dress up like this? No. Do you dress up like no. that either, huh? Not really. Only for uh, stuff like this and weddings. And well, we put clothes on for weddings and special events like this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, by the way, you look good. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. You do too. Oh, I both, always do. Oh, always. I always do, sweetheart. Don't worry about that. So how long have you been in the, the production field? What gets you involved in your company? Um, I have been shooting small videos and little films since 2006. Okay. I okay. was a senior in high school, uh, 2006. Yeah. And then I just kept shooting stuff. I did little videos. I made. Uh, I started a YouTube channel. Okay. And I started just filming stuff around where I lived and uh, the streets of Philadelphia where I went to school and just different stuff. And over the years, I, I just never stopped. You know, I just I was reading about it, educating myself about it, and um, then I started a second channel on YouTube. Yeah. It's uh, called. Lord Byron's Metro Trails Experience. Lord Byron's Metro Trails Experience. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's, a, it's like a reality show about hikers. Yeah. And it's a comedy. It's funny. So nobody dies? No. Okay. Nobody dies. Okay. Okay. I think about <laughs> hiking in the mountains late at night. No, no, no one, one dies. No one dies. It's funny. There's about 60 videos on that channel. Um, and then after that, I kind of like started thinking, well, why don't I try a feature? Why don't I try something longer? Sure, sure. So I came up with this idea, and I wrote this script for Power Child in 2018. Okay, a couple years ago. A couple years ago. 
and I revised it, wrote it like six or seven times. I hired mm -hmm. a ghostwriter to look over it for mm -hmm. me. So I finished it in 2020. We started filming yeah. probably in 2019, 2020. Okay, okay. Um, and we, we got pretty far with it. Right now we're, in, we're editing a lot of different scenes. Uh, we edited a trailer, we edited an intro, the intro looks really good. Wow. I bought some music from Storyblocks. Really? Um, Storyblocks, I, I uh, registered for that and got some sound effects, some music, scores, music, stuff like that for feature like films. Yeah. And um, I came to Las Vegas to promote the movie. That's the place to be. This is the place to be. Well, uh, I, uh, I, I will be running the uh, trailer after uh, this, you know, after we end the show, by the way, and this, um, in this live show, okay? So you will see the trailer after. Cool. Yeah, afterwards. So, yeah, so, it's, um, so you started this move. Okay, we, you are actually doing the premiere in October. Right. So yeah, I, I how scheduled the premiere in October at Crossroads Bar in New Jersey. Um, I started, uh, I wanted it to be about 300 tickets to sell mm -hmm. to the bar. So what I have to do is market myself, sure. yes. try to build up the movie, try to sell those tickets to the, to the bar. So how, uh, um, when did you start filming? Um, Around 2019. That's what I thought. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, yeah, I thought I thought you just started and then, and then, the fee, uh, you know the premiere is in October. I said, oh my God, that is a really <laughs> pretty quick. <laughs> yeah, pretty really quick. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's and by the way, that editing. the trailer <laughs> is amazing. It's literally uh, this is kind of like a movie that you see on the big screen. So yeah, mm. congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. Thank so tell us a little it. bit story about the movie. Ah, uh, okay. The, uh, Don't give out too much. Okay? I won't give away. <laughs> uh, the synopsis is more like um, it's about a boy genius who is he reads, genius? He's, he's like a genius. He's really really smart. Is his name Russell? No. Okay. <laughs> is his name Maria? No. Oh. <laughs> Definitely not Joe. Okay. <laughs> but he he reads a lot. He he gets really smart and uh, so he starts that had these special abilities, like special power abilities, like he teaches himself how to hold his breath for a really long time underwater, so he's just underwater for like five six, seconds? Five, six hours. Oh, okay, gotcha. That's a little tired. You know? So okay. Why is this? That's why I said six seconds, is because six seconds for me, I'm out. I'm not tired at all. Yeah, I can only hold my breath for maybe 10, 15 seconds. I don't know. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> But, uh, yeah, six hours. Yeah, okay. So it, is, and you are the writer or somebody I'm, else? I I wrote the script. Um, I'm the main actor in the movie. Oh, you are. Yeah. yeah. So, so you're the boy genius. I'm kind of doing something <laughs> that like, uh, like um, you know, director. Are you the one, the one with the beard? Yeah. Oh shucks! <laughs> That's, I was yeah. kind of like. What do you mean? I never <laughs> seen you in there. He said he shaved everything to look good on our show today. Oh, yes. yeah. Okay, yeah, I to look okay got you. Shit. I was like, no, you're not in there. And then I, that's why I went. Okay, God. Wow. Yeah, that's, I, yeah, he looks I totally look, different in the movie. Yeah. yeah, I look different in the movie. He's totally. I, I was like, that's why I was like. <laughs> you didn't realize I was. I was acting. No, I was, uh, I was like uh, looking on the resemblance right now that you're in front of yeah. me and on the trailer. So I'm like. That's why I said. No, you're not. It's my brother. Oh, it's <laughs> my your brother? brother? No, no. Yeah, it's you. No, it's, no, it's you. It's you. No, the, the <laughs> eyes. Is the same thing. Wow. Yeah. So, um, you know, the story goes: it's a boy genius who um, has an incident with his father because his his father is kind of really mean to him. You know, so he gets this voice in his head that says. I know you can hold your breath underwater for a long time. This is it. The, because the father, the father actually trying to drown. Yeah, he, yeah, he's he's on a canoe in a in a lake with his dad, and they're fishing. And this voice comes in his head. And he's like, "Drown your dad! Drown your dad!" I know you can do it. So he, he just he just goes and tackles him into the water, holds him underwater, and that's it for his dad. So then he's kind of <laughs> on the run for 
for a couple weeks, you know, he's like avoiding people <laughs> and avoiding the police and stuff like sure, that. Sure, sure. So he catches a train to New York and he lives in New York for about four or five years and he runs into a girl he knows from New Jersey. And wow. they fall in love. And they fall in love. And the next, and, and, and the next, you know, and, and, the, and the next story, you're going to go and see the movie. Yeah. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. So it, it's very, pretty interesting. You made me interested Thank right you. away. Yeah. Thank so you. that's pretty cool. But you kind of give me out something more. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyways, uh, so you create, you actually is the, you're not the producer, you're the writer, the actor, and um, directing? I'm, I'm putting a little money into it here and there, too, so I'm kind of, like, producing it here and there, like, the money I make, and I put into the movie, and, you know. But but I came here also to find producers, like, the Days, Days of the Dead convention, I want yeah. to find producers well, be, there. Yeah, go and, yeah, network all, all out in there. Yeah. There's a lot of uh, big uh, names. I was I was look when I was looking uh, yeah. around. Yeah. I seen this name that I recognize. I, I even forgot because I seen so many names in there, and I'm like, oh, I'm not an actor. Oh, <laughs> it's so freaking crazy. I'm like, oh. I can't and, wait to go. I mean, I have and I couldn't awesome. find our big names. Event. Big event, not yet. Oh, uh, we're gonna but, we're gonna make our own sign and come on in. Oh yeah. Put our own. Yeah. Well, we are having a, a, a red carpet there. We have a band yes. there, and, mm -hmm. and it's going to be a big deal because we'll be interviewing some of these other stars and directors. Yes. And producers. Yes. There's a lot of talent out here. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. A lot of talent. So, anyways, uh, so, um, so this movie is how? Can you tell us how much is the gross? You know, uh, not gross, but uh, the expense. What do you call that? The funds that the you budget? already. The budget. There you go. The budget. Is right. eighty grand right now? Right now, eight oh, okay. million dollars. So bad. Yeah, no, no, not eight. <laughs> eight million. Eight, 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 eighty well. grand for a uh, you know is uh, for a very good movie, very good story. It's independent. It's uh you know it's an independent movie. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a feature film. Like, feature this is not film. a short film. Okay, it's a feature film. So, yeah. yeah so it's yeah. Go and freaking help this guy. <laughs> buy, <laughs> buy. <laughs> buy, 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 buy the buy tickets. Yeah. No, buy the tickets to right. go to the. In October, your your grand opening, or what do you call it, at the, uh, the premiere. The premiere, premiere at the yeah. Crossroads Bar. Crossroads Bar, Bar yeah. The, yeah. The interesting part about this premiere is there's a band I know in New Jersey called the Gypsy Funk Squad. Yeah. And the Gypsy Funk Squad wanted to be in the movie, and I said, "Yeah, that's that's fine, that's great." So they're in a scene in the movie playing their music. That's so they're coming to Crossroads premiere. to premiere the movie with me. Love oh, that's amazing! Yeah, I love it. yeah. You know what you do too is just go on, you know, go on different also podcasts, keep on promoting, and we will promote you all throughout the month or uh, this month because that's what I promised you guys. So cool. yeah, thank you. Absolutely. Yeah. Awesome. Any words of wisdom for anyone out there that wants to maybe start their own movie? I mean, that's hard. We, um, a lot of us started YouTube channels. We've done our own thing. But how do you get started in actually a whole movie? Well, the first part is to come up with an idea. You sure, know, sure. You have to have a good idea. And then the second part is to write the script. But in between the idea and the script, you need to write notes down. Like if you have um, actors in mind or scenes in mind or locations, you write everything down, take some notes, and then when you're starting to write the script, you just refer back to those notes and um, put it in there and come up with creative names for characters. And then after the script... You can have auditions, sure, you know, sure, whole auditions sure. to see what actors come are interested in playing in the movie. Sure, um, and just take it step by step. And and my the one big thing that I found out making this movie is you need to take your time. You need to be Good very point. patient. Good take point. your time. Don't rush through anything because <laughs> if you rush it, it won't be as good as you want it to be. Is this so your first movie? My first feature, yeah. Yeah, uh, but you've been uh, in uh, short films. Yeah, yeah. Uh, did you ever, uh, you know, this is your first, uh, your first movie that you wrote? 
Mm-hmm. How are you? Oh. Um, well, there was a, a movie I wrote a while back. It was uh, about the Jersey Devil. Yeah. So a, that was my first horror movie, but that wasn't a feature. That was like an independent short. That was like a 20-minute film. Oh. I wrote awesome. that too. Awesome. I like to write. Really? Yeah. So how long have you been writing? Uh, ever since I can remember. Oh, wow. <laughs> ever since Did you I ever can... wrote a book? No, I never wrote a book. But I found out that I'm a very fast reader now. I used to be slow at reading, but now I can read a book in like a day. Wow. You know? So you are an actor. Um, wow. <laughs> um, did you went to uh, you know like school for acting, or you just realized, hey, I'm an actor? Well, I went to uh, after high school. I went to University of the Arts in Philadelphia for two years, and that was like an art school. So uh, the first year was like foundation classes, like painting, sculpture, drawing, sure. stuff like that. And then the second year, you had to pick a major. So I picked filmmaking. Um, and then the school just got way too expensive for me after two years. So I transferred to Montclair State back in, to New Jersey mm-hmm. and finished Montclair State in uh, about 2014. Got my BFA there uh, in filmmaking and then just kept going with it. That's amazing. Good for you. Good for you. You, didn't, you, didn't let you, let, you did not let anything stop you. <laughs> not the money. You have to transfer with things around. Use the experience you have. Yeah. Like my son's good at making cartoon characters and making them animated and doing some crazy stuff. But it takes him forever. Mm-hmm. So he doesn't do it often, but he's really takes good a long at time. it. Yeah, it takes a long time. Yeah, and there, there's a lot of uh, hurdles throughout the whole process that things can fall through. Um, there's one there's one thing I, I wanted to talk about uh, with with me as as like a speed bump in the movie process in the movie making. Uh, there is this one actor who was coming from Florida, flying from Florida to be the dad character. In the okay. Movie. Yeah. Right. So he, I pick him up at the airport, and his face is bleeding. Oh my gosh. Really? Like his, his whole face is bleeding. Did, did they yeah. punch him? What did uh, you... I, I was. Uh, I didn't say anything at first. I thought it was normal. I guess. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, maybe I should. Sure. It's normal <laughs> when you see somebody's <laughs> bleeding. That is. Maybe weird. I shouldn't say anything. You, know? <laughs> you so, should. So I, I, I didn't notice. <laughs> I didn't. I got, I got home. I brought him home with me. Uh-oh. And I said, you know, you can crash here tonight if you want. With the blood. He, he had a prosthetic leg. His leg was fake, so yeah. he took his leg off as soon as he came <laughs> to my apartment. I right would be freaked so, out. So I'm like, "You'll be okay, right? You'll you'll be okay." He's like, "Yeah, but my throat is feels a little weird. I don't know." I'm like, "Well, I'm gonna go to work, so just just hang out here. We'll start filming tomorrow." Sure. So I go to work. He calls me. He says, "My throat's closing up. I had an allergic reaction on my face." What? Like, <laughs> that what it was? Wow. I'm like, how, how did that happen? Wow. He, he said, well, I used Just For Men hair dye to dye my beard. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, that's why your face was bleeding when I saw you. <laughs> He's like, yeah, but now it's getting harder to breathe now. I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> so I left work, yeah. picked him up, drove him to the hospital. <laughs> and they had to... Put like, I think that is a very yeah. uh, that is very very a uh, mild uh, mild problems. You know, there's a lot of different movies that I've seen so far where they got stuck in an island in the COVID middle of the COVID. <laughs> oh, right, right, <laughs> Those right. kind of thing. That is a really mild problems that you face yeah. uh, through yeah. your. They, 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 had to, they had to stick a tube down his throat. Oh so well, it's not breathe. mild because it's actually. It's uh, kind of a big deal. Yeah, <laughs> it's, 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 yeah. So. You it, know. Why you just didn't let him die? You know, just make <laughs> him die. Did you let him die? Not to not to watch the movie anyway. Yeah, right. yeah I'm right. not that me. my reputation. <laughs> that, no well, that's not your fault. Shoot. You didn't kill him. Uh, got maybe, good. maybe you didn't. Maybe you didn't. You got close. <laughs> I was just, you know, I, you know. <laughs> well, well, no, no. The funny thing is, when we go on the, on the shows like this or premieres or even on a date. 
sometimes we'll make up or hair dye or something and mm -hmm. something we never tried before and it might have a reaction right before the date <laughs> or something really? else. Sure. And okay. um, you don't know because it's not something you normally do. Yeah. And you say, well, let's say I've had five dates and it didn't go so well. Maybe I'll about, I don't know, turn my beard red or something like yeah. that. Yeah. And find out that wasn't the best thing. <laughs> <laughs> that was yeah, stupid. Yeah, like reaction can happen out of nowhere. Every time, I know. It's you, great. You might age and you might not have the same allergies when you get older. But sure. this yeah. guy really, I don't know. Nothing yeah. got done. His scene never got done. You know, oh, never really? really? Had to write did, out you pay, did you pay all the expenses for him to get there? No. Oh, he paid it out he of his pocket. He paid everything out of his cool pocket. Hey, hey, I'm glad ticket. that you're still alive. I'm just kidding, okay? <laughs> <laughs> that is just, it's just Maria's. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. the Maria we know and love. Yes, exactly. <laughs> right? But anyways, where they can find you, Russell? Uh, you can find me on Facebook. Uh, type in my name, Russell Rapp. Uh, you can find me on YouTube. One P or twos. Two P's. Two P's. Two, two S's. Two S's. Two L's. Two P's. Yeah. Russell Rap. Yep. You can find me on uh, YouTube. You can find me on Instagram. Uh, you can find me on Twitter. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. So, yes. Uh, they Broken are everywhere. Ball Productions. Yes. You know, it's really funny because he never gave me all these links and I found it. So, I'm so good. You found my links? Y yeah. Yeah. It's easy, just Broken Ball Productions, and also where they can find the trailer of the movie. We're going to play it after this. The trailer can be found on YouTube. Uh, it's called Power Child Trailer. Power Child Trailer, wow. Uh, it's yeah. got, it, there's, a, there's also a scene called uh, the Completed Tiger scene. Mm -hmm. And that scene did better than the trailer. That scene has 9,500 views. Wow. And it's uh, it's pretty it's pretty cool. I like that scene. That's well, good. So we yeah. can double those views in the next yeah. few days. All right. Yes, but anyways, guys, um, you know, uh, we are overtime. We are in overtime right now. But anyways, thank you so much, Russell, You're for being on our Hold show. It. I get paid extra. We're overtime right now. Yeah. Can I get paid? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Why don't you guys pay us? Please sponsor our shows. We have like ten shows, ten shows uh, on social media shows. Uh, we have. Around 21, 20 to 21 shows that's running every single week. And uh, yes, and we used to have 20 shows or uh, 30 shows a week. <laughs> and I just said, no, I cannot do this anymore. I just need 10 quality shows. And so far, You're I'm there. so happy with all the shows You're that there. we have. Yeah. We are now on Spotify. Um, Spotify just opened up for those people who doesn't know yet. Uh, they just open up a Spotify. It's not just songs anymore. They have a video podcast on Spotify. And I'm so happy to say that I'm one of the first that is in there. <laughs> Joe Rogan is in Spotify. They pay him a billion dollars to be exclusive on Spotify. Joe Rogan? Yes. Yeah, yeah they took him out from uh, YouTube. Okay. Spotify said, nope, you cannot go YouTube anymore. <laughs> You're exclusive to us. Doesn't we'll work that you. way. Doesn't work that way. Oh my! But that's what that's what happened. That's what Joe Rogan yeah. makes his money. But yeah. anyways, guys, guys, yes, we are in, on Spotify. We are on all social media shows. We are working to be on Roku, Apple TV, Android TV, every TV, and hopefully, cross my finger. I shouldn't say this because I just met this guy. We're gonna be on Las Vegas TV network. So yeah. I am really good on that. So. Ooh, triggers, there you go. Yeah, but anyway, so shout out to Las Vegas TV Network, by the way. All right. Yes. Anyways, Joe's. Well, uh, that's it. Branding, opportunity, outreach. So you have an idea, please contact us, get a hold of us, and subscribe to his channel and our channel, and we're going to make things happen together. Yes. All right, Maria. Yes, we are. Uh, we, well, we'll see you guys uh, at the Days of the Dead event. Tonight, tomorrow, from 11 to 10. I have no idea what's at hours, but we are going to be there. We'll be there. We're sleeping there overnight, I think. No, you can, but okay. I, I won't. Uh, but but we're going to be there tomorrow all day. Please come and see us. Say hi. I know there's a fee to get in, but it's really cheap. It's only $40 to get in to the uh, event for three days. For three days, $40 is not much. You can see and meet a lot of movie producers. 
uh, if you are looking for to make your feature films, you, you know you're gonna go Indiegogo. The I believe <laughs> one of the office office officials is gonna be on the Days of the Dead event. Ooh. So you will see us in our beautiful dresses. So come and see us uh, at. I'm not wearing a dress. No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was last event we did, not this event. Oh no, gosh, it's trip T. Uh, that goes once a month. We want to do this every week. So if you want to sponsor the show, these are three young women's. Uh, they're, uh, they're, they're artists. They're singer. They're performers here in Las Vegas. Makeup artist and a uh, fashion model that runs the show. It's a very interesting show. If you guys want to actually fund their show so that we can do it weekly to entertain, educate, and empower all of you guys. Yes, we would love that. Just go on our website, socialmediashows.com slash, forward slash, strip hyphen T. T. There <laughs> Thank you. I was going to say T, sir. <laughs> but anyways, we're out of here. Thank you so much for viewing us. Thank All right. Thank, Thank you once you, again, Russell. Russell. Appreciate it. No problem. All right. Yes.